Hello, my name is Tom Gump, and just think Tom Hanks and Forrest Gump, Tom Gump. I couldn't be more excited to be here today to talk to you about my all-time favorite subject, forming new and creative Rotary Clubs and growing Rotary through that. During my DGE and DG years, I formed or helped form eight new and creative clubs in my district. Why? Because they really work. New clubs grow Rotary quicker. We recently started the Rotary Club of Network for Empowering Women, and we added close to 50 members at one time to my district. It would take a long time to add 50 individual members, one at a time, to one of our current clubs. And you know, new clubs retain members longer, especially if it's a cause-based club, where all the members engage around a cause that they are all very passionate about. We started the first ever club in the world to serve veterans. Some of those members drive more than two hours to attend their club service projects and get togethers. That's how important it is to them. New clubs also attract younger and more diverse members. My generation was told to go out and serve the community. I joined my local traditional Rotary Club and that is what I do. My club does a lot of different service projects. We pick up trash along the side of the highway. We rake leaves in yards of people who cannot do it themselves. We make sandwiches for the hungry. It's fun for me because I do these projects with my friends and it gives me pride in doing a job well. Now that said, millennials tend to want to have a big and great impact in one specific area of service. And they expect to do this in a diverse and inclusive environment. New and innovative clubs can more easily meet these prospective people of action where they are and deliver a club experience that appeals to them. New clubs also reach out into our communities and bring in more people into Rotary. A couple weeks after we formed the first ever club to end human trafficking, we were inducting a person from Turkey. Very excited about it because we didn't have a member from Turkey at that time. 20 minutes after that ceremony, I received an email from the then sitting president, Mark Maloney, our international president. And he let me know that the person we just inducted was his sister. He confided in me that he had been trying for over 40 years, four zero years, to get her into Rotary. But we just didn't have a club into that time that fit her needs and her interests. And new clubs also increase our opportunity to partner with other groups to bring in more Rotarians. We worked with the Environmental Sustainability Rotary Action Group to form a Rotaract Club for the environment. We also worked with another group outside of Rotary to form a Rotaract Club to serve those with autism and their families. You see, the opportunity to form new and creative clubs applies both to Rotary and Rotaract Clubs. So if you want to increase your district's membership, and I know as DGEs you all want to, while adding diversity, adding younger members, and adding more female members, then form new and creative clubs and help them nurture and develop. If you remember just one thing from my talk here today, remember this. It's not hard to start a new and creative Rotary Club or a Rotary Club, and there are a lot of people to help you. After all, if I can start the world's first ever Rotary Club for veterans in a state that doesn't have a military base, active or defunct, and I'm not even a veteran, then I know you can do it too. Just imagine how together we can grow Rotary and the support of the Rotary Foundation if every district in the world just formed one cause-based club around a specific area of focus. Actually, it wouldn't be hard to have every district form seven such clubs. Imagine too, if you go back to your district and you formed a club primarily of alumni, people who participated in life-changing Rotary programs and had those experiences and want to get together and share those. Lastly, imagine if every district actively reached out to former members and prospective members who have an interest in joining Rotary but can't find a club that currently exists that fits their needs. What if we invited them to design their own new club that fits their needs, their interests, and their schedule? I know you can do it. Remember, if Gump can do it, then you can too. Thank you.